Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a pregnancy of about 21 weeks with identity deformal. Identity deformal is a common complication of pregnancy. It is also called molar pregnancy. It consists of a non-viable embryo which implants and proliferates within the uterus. But in this case, the viable alive fetus is seen. The duration of pregnancy is about 21 weeks and partial identity deformed mole is also seen. Complete moles, moles are, are associated with the absence of a fetus. Partial moles usually occur with an abnormal fetus or may be uh, even associated with fetal demise. But in this case, partial identity deformed mole is seen along with a normal viable alive active fetus of about 21 weeks. In the identity deformed mole can be either complete or partial. The absence or presence of a fetus or embryo is used to distinguish the complete from partial moles. Complete moles are associated with the presence uh, with the absence of fetus, partial moles usually occur with an abnormal fetus or may even be associated with fetal demise. But in this case, there is no, the fetus is echo normal and there is no fetal demise. The fetus is active, alive and viable. Rarely moles coexist with a normal pregnancy as in this case, that is coexistence molar pregnancy in which the normal fetus and placenta are seen separate from the molar gestation. This is the case here we are discussing. On ultrasound, it looks like a bunch of vesicle with interspread fluid seen in the whole of the uterine cavity. But as this is a partial additive deformed mole, so the, it is seen in in a separate entity. The fetus is active, alive. You can see is normal. No fetal anomaly is seen. Mostly painless vaginal bleeding during the second trimester of pregnancy is seen. They are diagnosed by ultrasound imaging. Extreme high levels of human chorionic gonadotropin HCG are suggestive but not diagnostic of molar pregnancy. A molar pregnancy is where there is a problem with the fertilized egg, which means a baby and placenta do not develop the way they should after conception. A molar pregnancy will not be able to survive. It happens by chance and is very rare. But in this case, the fetus is active, alive, no fetal anomaly is seen, and I did partial identity deformed mole is seen. A pelvic ultrasound scan will show the presence of tissue inside the uterus with the characteristic sto uh, snowstorm, snowstorm appearance of a molar pregnancy. The scan may be performed via the abdominal scan or the vagina. Ultrasound scanning shows a honeycomb pattern produced by the numerous vesicles. As they enlarge, the image is described to look like a snowstorm, which is due to swollen cysts with bleeding into the uterus. The ovaries are often seen to contain large cysts. Mostly a dirty farm mole is an abnormal fertilized egg that develops into a identity farm mole rather than a fetus. Identity farm moles are most common among women under the age of 17 or over 35. 
In the United States, they occur in about 1 in 2,000 pregnancies. Now the risk for the, the molar pregnancy is the risk of complete molar pregnancy is the highest in women over the age of 35 and younger than 20. The risk is even higher for women over the age of 45 but age is less likely to be a factor for partial moles. For choriocarcinoma the risk is lower below the age of 25 and then increases with the age until menopause. You can see a significant blood flow is seen in the hydrated deform mole. Hydrated deform moles should be taken as pre-malignant lesions between because 15 to 20 percent of complete hydrated deform moles and 1% of partial identity deform moles undergo malignant transformation into invasive moles. Choriocarcinoma are in rare cases placental site tropoblast tumors. An ultrasound complete molar pregnancy can be detected as early as 8 or 9 weeks of pregnancy, but it may show no embryo or fetus. So mostly doctors can diagnose the hydrated deform mole shortly after it forms. Hydrated deform mole can be suspected on the basis of symptoms such as uterus that is much larger than expected and vaginal discharge or grape-like tissue. A pregnancy test is done. Complete molar pregnancies have only Uh, have serious complications including a rare form of cancer and requires early treatment. The measurement of HCG levels more than 1 lakh milli suggests so the diagnosis of a complete molar pregnancy especially when associated with vaginal bleeding, uterine enlargement and abnormal ultrasound ultrasound findings. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.